So hello everyone, I'm Sandy Bajay and I work with Legislative and Legal Services. I'm going to take a little bit of time and provide you with an overview of where you can find some key governance documents on the county's public website. So um, on the upside, the county strives to be accountable and transparent to residents. This means that, there, that our public website holds a lot of information and useful documents that will help you understand the municipal functions, operations, and priorities. So all the types of things that Ian has just been talking to us about. On the downside, because there's so much information on the website, it can be a little tricky to navigate. So hopefully this presentation will help you out with that. As Ian noted, one of Council's main responsibilities is setting the strategic direction for the municipality. One of the key ways that the municipality does this is through the establishment of the strategic plan, as well as the county's various policies. So the strategic plan is the county's principal guiding document, and it articulates the county's vision, this idea of being the most livable community. Um, it also sets out priorities and goals. So if you want to find this plan on the website, the easiest way to do that is to use the search bar. So I'm just going to switch gears here. This is the county's website. And I'm using that search bar right at the top. This is the easiest way to search for any of the materials. That stress of having people watch you too. I know, and I'm sure I'll make a spelling mistake. So it'll take you right to the page, and I'm just going to open that up. Um, and if you scroll through the strategic plan, you'll be able to see the vision, a list of priorities, and it goes into goals and details. So this is the high level document. So that's a really handy document to review. Um, I'm gonna switch gears and talk a little bit about policies. As Ian had mentioned, policies set out a framework or provide guidelines for making decisions related to municipal issues. You can find all of the county's current policies in something we call the Municipal Policy Handbook. So again, I'm going to use the search bar. It's kind of like cheating, but you're allowed to do it. Um, so our policies are organized according to five broad, broad categories. You have services, public relations, human resources, governance, and financial. You may find it helpful to spend some time looking at the governance policies in particular because this set of documents addresses the guidelines and rules for a number, a number of council-related activities. So it covers everything from things like council remuneration, code of conduct, expenses and appointments to boards and committees and those were all things that Ian had touched on during his presentation. Another really useful website is the frequently requested bylaws page. As you likely know, a bylaw is simply a law that's created by a local government. In our case we're talking about Strathcona County. Bylaws are aimed at meeting the needs of citizens and resolving local issues. Bylaws only apply within the county limits. In Alberta, a local government's powers and duties are given to them by the province under the Municipal Government Act. And this act includes the power to create or enact bylaws. The county may create bylaws for a municipal purpose in relation to a number of matters that are all noted in the Municipal Government Act. So some examples include public safety, citizen welfare, protection of private and public property, nuisances and unsightly premises, public places, services provided by the counties, utilities, animals, and the list goes on and on. If you look at the re frequently requested bylaw page, you will see some of the county's current bylaws. So I can show you that as well. I made a 
spelling mistake? So if you scroll through, you can take a look. There's quite a few uh, bylaws, things like animal control, assessment review board bylaw, our boards and committees bylaw. Um, there's my personal favorite, the meeting procedures bylaw. That one it has all the rules for what happens during a council meeting and the processes that are followed. So that's, that's a useful site to know about. Um, the next page that I'm going to spend a little time talking about is our Council Meetings and Priorities Committee Meetings page. This page houses all the documents related to meetings of Council or Priorities Committee. And just in case you don't know, our Priorities Committee includes all members of Council. On this page, you can access current or past agendas, meeting minutes, as well as videos from council or, pri or priorities committee meetings. So if you want to see what happens in a council meeting or what happens in a priorities committee meeting, you of course are welcome to come and watch in person, but you can also watch on the webcast. So I just typed in council meeting and it'll take you right to the page. and then I'm going to click on agendas, packages, and webcasts. So I'm going to just show you how to access those materials. If you use this drop-down bar, this will show you all the past council meetings. If you click on the view, you can look at the agenda, you can look at the whole video, or you can click on the date that you're interested in and this is a little bit of an easier way to view this material. If you click directly on, let's say, the Urban Chicken Pilot Project, it'll take you right to the video of where that part of the meeting took place, so you don't have to scroll through the entire video. You can also just click on the reports and any of the enclosures or attachments that were included to reports. So that's a, a very easy way to get familiar. If there's a particular topic that you're interested in, you can use those resources to read up and see what decisions were made in the past, what the debate was at the council meeting, and, and how that process unfolded. Um, I also want to point out If you scroll down to the very end of the page, there's an archive. And that archive contains all of the council documents that we have going back from 2015 to 2002. So it's a pretty extensive archive. Now we don't have webcasts for all the meetings going back to 2002. I believe they started in about 2014 right around there, so you won't have video for some of the older materials, but they are all available there, so it's, it's good to know that those exist. Okay. Um, last but not least, I'm just going to take a moment to point out the elections webpage. That one might be of interest to a couple people here. So the, elect the elections webpage has a number of resources that will be of interest to um, general voters or, or to candidates or potential candidates. Our next two presenters, Jacqueline and Kelly, are going to talk a little bit more about these resources in detail, but I did want to point out this page to you since I was giving you a little bit of a tour of our website. So I just went through a fair bit of information and detail. Um, we're not expecting that you're going to have memorized our entire website and how to find everything that you may need. There is help if, if you would like some help. Um, legislative and Legal Services, which is the department that all of us work in, 
uh, we are here to help you, and if we can be of assistance, you can contact us at the number or the email address that's provided on the screen. And with that, County or County Connect, that's true. Turn things over to Jacqueline.